You want to salvage indoor without any risk, earning a lot of money quickly or accumulate components and ship weapons? Then you are right here! The biggest innovation of the 324 are the personal hangers. But these offer a lot of possibilities for abuse, all through the game mechanics make this possible. Therefore, we use this video directly as an exploit or bug report and the link you to the entry in the issue console. But it remains to be seen whether and when there will be changes here and the following techniques are no longer possible since it was already known at the first evocative phases. Because currently it is possible to salvage your own ships in your own personal hangar, directly without any risk, and directly in a starting zone and at the same time with the possibility to sell directly on the side. And of course we can also use weapon and components of the ships. All we need for this is a vulture. This is small enough to be able to fly around in smaller hangars without any problems and to have enough space to dismantle other ships accordingly. For this, we park our vulture first outside the hangar zone, that is the area that moves later and brings other ships up. If the vulture moves within the zone, it is stored accordingly and you do not have the option of accessing it afterwards and doing the salvaging in the hangar. So, pay attention to the yellow lines here. After that, we either get our own ship, an in-game purchased or even a rental ship. The main thing is that we can spawn them in our personalized hangar. We use an M2 Hercules as an example here. As a small spoiler, this one offers about 500 to 800,000 Alpha UEC of payment. Of course, if we completely remove the hull from the ship and generate RMC. And of course, we sit in the cockpit beforehand, press the radial menu with Alt and F and keep the ports unlock function ready here. Because with the unlocked ports, we can also expand the components of the ship and its weapons also. And later, we use them in a different way via our cargo hangar. Because after we are done with our salvaging tour with our own ships, we will simply do a small insurance fraud and reclaim our ships here. So with weapons and components. So, removing the ship's hull is really lucrative because, especially with larger ships, there are several hundred thousands Alpha UEC and that without any risk or the possibility of other players to interact with you. Because you are still moving completely in your closed, protected hangar. And one more note, of course, you can only sell the ships as long as they have deactivated their shields or are completely deactivated. First of all, we store the ship weapons and components in our personalized hangar by loading them, attaching them to the cargo grid and transferring them to our warehouse. Then we get to our vulture again and start your salvaging tour. Large or extra large hangars are especially suitable for this, because you have more than enough space here to maneuver at the same time, keep your distance and perform corresponding salvaging operations. And as soon as our filler station has reached the maximum value, we can simply park directly at the cargo lift, generate the boxes and load them directly into our warehouse. There is definitely no faster way to salvage, generate the boxes and transfer them directly to the inventory. Because if you park your tractor tools in range, where we also recommend the max lift tractor beam here, you can put the boxes from your ship directly on your cargo grid on your personal cargo lift. And thanks to the personalized hangars, you don't have any problems that ships are despawned or impounded in time. Here you have all the time in the world and can simply continue working later. And in addition, it is a deliberate game mechanic. We need the tractor beam to operate the cargo lifts. Here we have the option of also using our components, so the salvaging components. But insurance abuse is definitely not in the interest of the inventor and here we hope that we will soon be a possibility to prevent this. But it is difficult to create a quick and easy way out, since this was also known at the first evocative phases of 324. Here we are very curious to see what CIG is thinking about to prevent insurance fraud and salvaging in your own hangar. In addition, RMC is the material that you generate by pulling up a ship's hull, is one of the most valuable trading goods in the world at the moment. And after the work is done, 
we simply stow our salvaged materials back in our hangar and have access to it later when selling on the console. But, of course, we are not limited only to pulling off the ship's hull with salvaging. No, we carry out the entire salvaging process, including the disassembling and collecting of entire ships. But of course, we also use the function to remove components and weapons in advance after we claim this ship again in the afterward and keep a brand new ship with components and weapons. But the ships currently differ in the possibility of removing components. For example, with newer ships, most components are usually usable, from shields to weapons to power plants or quantum drives. Older ships often do not have a physicalization here yet. Also in addition, a sale of components and weapons also with corresponding dealers is not always possible. Nevertheless, it can be really worthwhile to have one or the other replacement variant in your warehouse, especially with high-quality military components. In addition, the tip is that pulling of the hull takes a long time. A disintegration and fracturing takes much shorter and you are done much faster here and can generate material much faster, which is only a fraction of its value. So only the temporary component plays a role here. And finally, the note that you can completely disintegrate and fracture maximum ships up to the size of a constellation series with a vulture. Because even if an XL hangar would be large enough to maneuver with a reclaimer, you do not have the option of calling other ships for salvaging here. Therefore, only the Drake Vulture remains for salvaging within a hangar. But you can call larger ships up to an 890 jump without any problems and salvage the hull accordingly. The rest of the work steps are of course identical. That means that we also generate some boxes in our vulture, load them in the cargo elevator and then come to the sale. Actually, there are different sale places for the different commodities, so RMC and construction material. But of course, we'll take a look at these again in a moment. First, we bring all our loaded goods back to our warehouse via the lower elevator function. And before we set off for the sale, we go to the normal ship console and start a report on our destroyed ships. That means we claim them again and receive new material for new salvage around in a few minutes. To sell RMC, so the most lucrative material, can be sold directly at the different trading places and get much more interesting prices here than for construction material. Here we salvaged just under 26 SCU from our M2 and that was just the upper side. And with that just under 365,000 Alpha UEC, this can definitely be seen for a few minutes of work. And for about 2 minutes of work for a destruction of an A1, we earn just under 20,000 Alpha UEC. And with the request to support this issue at the issue console entry again, we say goodbye until next time. See you soon and see you in the verse.